Creepings everybody and welcome back to another episode of Serious Quest Adventures in the Darkest Dungeon. Sorry the episode is so late, it was supposed to come out on Thursday, but I kind of messed up my schedule, so I'm a little bit behind on videos unfortunately, so it's going to be a bit tricky to get back into it. Uh, I think today, actually let's have a look here, I think I'm going to go into a different area, not the ruins, like something else. We do have some of these guys now. We never used our grave robber and we never used... Uh, no, we do use our jester, but... Is he level 1? Okay, he's level 1, fine. Uh, that's all good. Yeah, I think I might just drop her then and get her. Just because she's already level 1 and I guess that's that's just makes more sense, right? The damage is quite different too. Uh, well, not that much different. <laughs> By like 2 points max. But yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna dismiss her. There's no downside to dismissing them, right? Hopefully. Who knows? And we'll take her instead. Another soul battered and broken. Cast aside like a spent torch. She has, in town will never drink. Okay. In town will only meditate for stress relief. Uh, bit limited. Scouting in the cove. Ah. All right, let's look at... Uh, I'll ignore the other guys. I don't think there's really much I can upgrade right now with the amount of things I have, unfortunately. And that's one of the things I want to do, I think. I want to go try to get uh, some more materials and such, right? Like, or money and uh, some of these um, crests and stuff. Um, so, I don't know if there's, like, a good way to do this or not. Like, for example, here, we see that we actually get some from the quest reward. So, that's probably a good idea to do as well. Um... These are busts, and if I remember correctly, the busts actually trade into a lot of other materials, so these maybe might be the most valuable. Ooh, it is pretty good too. So maybe we should go into the cove. I don't know if there's like a dif difficulty difference between these three. Uh, does this say anything here? What kind of monsters those are? A fish on two legs. Test the strengths of this new menace. Complete 100% room uh, of room battles. So these might be fish people, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Creatures and bandits down here, okay. And that is meet the enemies in battle and then fade uh, to safety with newfound information? Huh. I don't really know what that is for. Okay. Yeah, I think... I might go for the cove then. And that's what this guy had. Right? Cough Explorer. Because I want to bring some uh, some different kind of people this time as well. I think I'm going to... Let's see. What do you even have? You're good at like a bag right now. So just like pick to the face. It has actually quite a lot of damage. Interesting enough. It's like a damage dealer at the back or something. Right? It has moves to move forward again. Which increases the damage modifier by 40% and crit by 11%. Wow. That is crazy. But then you're in a position... Okay, then you want to probably use one of these guys. Is there anything else that moves you back? No. So you probably want this one. Because if you start at the big back, where you can't use pick to the face... Okay, you could start in the third position. So you can do both of these. If you do this, you're at the front, and then you can move back again with this one. Which also stuns them and increases your dodge by quite a bit, but doesn't deal damage. And this one, if you would stay just at the back, for example, you could arrange this as well. Where you debuff, get rid, get rid of bleed resist. Um, and this is against mark damage, also from back there. Hmm, that's interesting. So you can kind of build two versions, I guess. One that does the moving back and forth, and the other one that's more static at the back. And then this one causes blight, which is really strong. Four points per around and it decreases the blight resist as well it does a tiny bit of damage as well hmm and it cures on herself yeah very interesting character so maybe I'll bring her and uh, we'll think about what kind of combos I want to use if I want to use the movement one or not so this guy has an issue <laughs> he has this uh, spasm it doesn't sound terrible, minus 20% healing while camping, but I can see that being a problem in the future. He also has a ton of bad things. Um, how much would it be, though, to 
put him diseases here. Can you, you can't do the diseases in here, no, okay. That's only a thousand gold. It's not terrible, could even reduce this slightly. Uh, I don't know if I really need this yet though, to be honest. It doesn't, well, if I don't take him with me though, then it's probably a good idea to either reduce his stress or get rid of this, right? Okay, let's think about this. So I'll leave him today. I might either bring her again, because I really like this leper character. Or we could try out the Helion. Hellion. She also has his movement step, but I mean we could get rid of things that do that and just have her at the front, right? Uh, what's the difference here? So this one is she's at the front and attacks the first two, and this one she attacks at the back. Barbaric Yop. It just stuns. Really, really high stun chance. Hmm. And this one is the middle two, so she can actually stand in front and hurt most of them. And if she's already at the front and this breaks through, I guess she just stays at the front? Okay. Bleed out. Well, she already has this bleed. I might bring her. I kind of want to try her out. I think I'll do this. I might rearrange some of her skills though. And I think I'll put her at the front so she'll stay there. Even if I do the forward thing. Now, for the healer, I'm really liking the Oculus. I'm like a huge fan of this character. So... We might just bring this one again. He'd be in... Let's see, we want her to be in the third position. So either at the back... Might swap us on skills here, or only get rid of this one, really. Probably get that one. Because with this one, we can mark targets, and she has damage against targets. Right? Yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe I'll bring him at the back. And I'm thinking this guy, <laughs> Luke. And he can be in a second position, too. Is there anything that doesn't work in the second position? No. Now, I have no idea... Oh, but wait, actually, actually, before that, I was going to check out her, the Antiquarian. Uh, Antiquarian, whatever. Because uh, I want to see if she also gives us more trinkets and stuff. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, he, her heal isn't great, but... What kind of stuff can she do otherwise? Guarding, or herself, I guess. Buffing... Uh-huh, I don't know. Should we bring her instead? Because I want to try this out. Maybe it's time to her bring first, because I want to see if we get more money with this sort of stuff. So it would be like something like this, but she... Let's see, this is any position, any position. These wouldn't work. But then we don't have a... We have the healer back there, right? Okay. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe we'll try this team first, these four. And then next time when we go to a different place, I'll try out the leper. Sorry, I mean the uh, abomination. And maybe this dude as well. Like a really weird team. I don't need. Oh, yeah, actually, I don't know if I could have brought the, lep the abomination with any of these guys anyway. I don't know if any of them is holy. I don't think they're probably holy, right? None of these three here. Whatever. Let me go arrange some of these skills. Uh, reduce cost of skill training. 10%. I don't know if I want to unlock that. Hmm. Most of these... Oh no, this is level 2. Level 1. Zero, okay. Should be fine. Yeah, let me go through this here real quick. Okay. I think I kind of figured it out. So I moved her back to here and have him in the second position instead. Her, I gave the stun ability for the first two. Rather than, I think she had this one here, the forward move. I mean, it hits all three people, which is pretty nice, but... Uh, this one does too, but it stuns them instead. So, I don't know. I kind of want to have a stun in there. Uh, this guy's in the second slot. I removed this skill here. Because we can't use it from there. And I gave him this back. So this will mark the target. Which is good again uh, for this person here, I think. Did he have anything against target? No, okay. Uh, then this guy, third position. 
Her skills are already all upgraded as well, all level 2, which is awesome, so I don't have to waste money on that. So that's really good. Good thing I upgraded that carriage thing, so we get like these more experienced people. Uh, she has, since she's in the third position, a pickaxe to the face. She has this like double deal damage. Um, she has the versus mark target damage here at the back. And we have the buff and blight. Actually, can you mark all of them? Yeah, because she can only attack the last three with that. Would have sucked if this one only targeted the first one or something. Um, and then she at the back, she has a nervous stab. I don't know if that's going to be great. She has a little heal. Uh, she has the, the buff and got herself. The other ones didn't seem too interesting to me. I mean, you know. Uh, I don't know. The blight here is also not very strong, so. I'll try it like this and see how it goes. And I didn't upgrade anything else. I just learned you can just click them. You don't have to drag them in there, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, yeah, her weapons are already upgraded as well. So I don't know if... Let's see, this is only damage and crit base and speed. Is this worth it? Yeah, might as well do it. Why not? I use Rune Will a lot. And she doesn't have a level up yet. So this is going to be our our team then, I guess. Trinkets. Don't forget. We have many trinkets now. Since she has a stun thing, I guess I'll give her the stun skill and... Was there anything that's only for her? I don't think there was. Uh, what should I give her... Maybe this one. I don't know if she really needs to dodge because she has quite a lot of health, but it gives a debuff resist. Uh, I don't know. None of these sound really interesting right now. Let's just assign some other ones first. I'll give him that plus 8 dodge. A little bit less speed, but I think it's fine. And I think he had a stun skill, so I'll give that to him as well. Uh, this is only for Leper, and this is only for Crusader, and this is only for Plague Doctor. I don't know if I want to reduce any of these people's thing. She has a lot of, lot of dodge, but... She also has a lot of health, so I don't know. Uh, maybe I give her... Uh, this one. What's a, what's a debuff anyway? Now it's 60%, yeah, sure, why not? And her, uh, now she doesn't have a lot of health, so... Maybe this might make sense. She would get more stress, but... What do you have? You don't really have anything that affects you stress-wise even more or something. Uh, yeah, sure, I don't really think the other ones are that great. I could also sell some if I don't like them, I guess. We actually do have quite a lot of money now, I just saw. Alright, so we have this. Let's then put some of these people into places. Obsessed with killing, so crazy. Now, you only gamble, right? Uh, that's always a problem. I always clicked the wrong one. I feel like these treating facilities should be next to each other, <laughs> just so it's easier. Okay, you buddy go into the gambling hall. Probably gonna lose all my money again. And then Hans Gruber now... Mm, I kind of want to get rid of some of these things as well, and we do have like the leper and stuff, so I could still bring them with me. So he might have to stay behind a few times, one for reducing stress and one for getting rid of some of the other things. But they're really expensive, right? Yeah. In town we'll only pray for stress release, that might be good to get rid of. The other ones aren't super dangerous really, but... Oh, I could reinforce some. Oh god, that's so expensive. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Should I get rid of this? Let's try it. I want to see how long it takes and stuff. Uh, okay, and the other ones are fine. Okay, I think that's all I want to do, really. Uh, this is a short one, so we don't need, like, resting or anything. So let's go to this place. Let's assemble our team here. You're already there, but you go into the second slot. There we go. Might be a strange team, but let's try it out. Two new characters to try out, which is awesome. And when someone starts off with a shovel already. Probably the... this guy. Okay, let's bring some torches. Let's bring... Let's bring ten. It's a short one, right? So... We might not need too many things. I don't know. But we do have the money as well, so... Eh... Yeah, let's try something like this. Uh... I don't know if I really need this. 
Well, the bleed is usually not super strong, so maybe I should rather bring the anti-venom. I don't even know what this one does. Does this give you um, stress back or something? I'll bring an an I'll bring two anti-venom. Anti well, I don't know what kind of creatures I'll meet. If they even do poison there. I'll just do one of each, just in case. And... Yeah, let's try it. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Noise. Okay. Uh, so this is 100% battle room, so unfortunately we don't know <laughs> which one of these is a battle room. Looks pretty cool, this area. Okay. Uh, back, pack, good, some loot. Good start. Pets laden with loot are often low on supplies. Uh, we fought in the East Gallery, filled with portraits of our ancient lineage, uncaring witnesses to the slaughter. Al Hazret, the fiery uh, heartbeat of our retune, ret I don't know, <laughs> wrought keen havoc in our enemy's ranks. I keenly feel his absence, even as I remember voiding myself upon seeing his lifeless body fall, blood pouring from his screaming mouth, some cruel knife having rent his lung to Goa. Yet we were victorious, and thus we press on. Take it. So we actually got, well, I don't know, we got a bit of money out of there. I feel like that might be more than usual. So apparently it was, damn it, was where we can carry more money. Oh, this is really cool. Looks really nice. Okay, no battle in this room. Scan? Nope, no scan. All right, so far so good. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, fish carcass. A stuffed sea creature has washed ashore. Wonder what it ate. Don't really want to know, to be honest, but we'll try it. Okay, only fish guts inside. Uh, there's a thing. Another mariner. Another misfortune. Keep the torch, Bryant. It's not a lot of room, so we can really keep this torch up there. In this section the whole time. Oh, no better room here either. Ah, good. Scouting. I guess this is going to be one. It's not, but there's battles on the way there. Hmm... Should I go for that? Ah, let's do it. It's a really small dungeon, so we might as well explore a little bit, I guess. See what we can find. Maybe there's some goodies. Oh, this looks like a door. Is this a door? It totally looks like a door. Alright, look at that. Jellyfishes. Okay. <laughs> what are you? A deep stinger, Eldritch. Ah, so yeah, I guess this makes sense. All these sea creature things here. It's very Cthulhu-like now. It's probably going to be a lot of Eldritch stuff. Okay, um, we start with this guy, interesting. Well, he has good attacks versus Eldritch, which is nice. Though, in general, well, that's actually 6 to 10 damage. Okay. Never mind, that is a lot. I was gonna say, it's not a lot. Let's just do that, really. Wow, he's almost dead. Nice, nice. Okay, you have the double attack, right? Do I want to use that right away? Mm. Oh, I just realized the out the, uh, the outline of these skills are colored depending on what they do, I guess. This one has a buff, so it's this light blue. This one has a debuff, so it's orange. Oh. That's pretty cool. So you can up your speed quite a bit. It's like almost twice as much speed. I don't know how this is being calculated. Like, I'm assu assuming you can't go twice in a round, in like a round, right? Can't be that fast. Oh, jeez, that crit though. Very good. <laughs> uh, dodging. Shocker, okay. Wow, what's going on? I'm gonna run out of my luck soon after this. Uh, it's, this is only a stun. Don't really need to bleed them. How much damage would this do? 6 to 12. I, if I'm super lucky, I could take him out. Maybe I should do a bleed. Oh, this is... Oh, wow, wait a second. This one does damage mod plus 15%, but he just debuffs you for the next... I don't know how many rounds. Oh. I like that, though. Okay, that was... Not a good hit, but it's fine. Three rounds as well, okay. Now, her turn. 
Right, time to shine. What's the stamp? Sure. Good job. The fiend falls. Oh, you even gave his rest back. Blossoms. Nice. Okay, so you're already a corpse, so no point in attacking that. I guess I just go with a big X to the face. I love that attack name, by the way. I think it's hilarious. So this one is plus 6 crit, this one is plus 11 crit. And a self buff. So this one is actually better, right? In general. But 5 to, five to 11 bows, but crit is higher. Yeah. Accuracy is a bit lower, but overall, I guess it's a better attack when you get that buff. Them all. Ah, they got a hit in. Good job, guys. One bleed. Uh, see, I could... Mm, I could waste these turns and let one of these guys heal my bleed. He could do it, right? Uh, no, no, no. She, someone could do it. I thought. Oh, maybe not. Why did I think that someone could get rid of the... Oh, no, 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 here, here, here. Oh, it's only on yourself. Okay, never mind then. Goodbye. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Minor antique. Ah, that's what she does. That is quite a lot of money. And four crats, so... That seems like a lot. And also, you guys said that um, when I press T to light these torches, it uses it from left to right, so I should always put the small stack on left. If I have some there. That's interesting. So yeah, we might get quite a bit of money from here after all. Uh, let's use our bandage. Should I? Sure, why not? <laughs> might as well. Okay, what is this? Uh, pool of water kept in a smooth stone. Its color looks slightly off. Take a drink? That's a terrible idea. Should I put an anti-venom into there? I don't think that would help. I don't think I want to drink this. I'm gonna drink it. Oh, okay. That was like, wow. That was actually really good. I'm surprised. They probably also can go really bad, I'm assuming. Oh my god, what are these guys? Pelagi Guardian and Grauper. 25 health though. Okay, these are stronger than the ruined ones, I guess. Unless they scale with your level of your characters or something. No, I don't think so. I think they just scale with the area you're in. Because the area itself has a level as well, right? Um, okay. Ooh, what do I want to do? I guess I just... I mean, I could start out with this to get that buff. That's only 6 accuracy, though. Yeah, let's start out with this one. I like this. Nah, damn it. She dodged. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, mark the target, maybe? Let's see, what else could I do? E buff. This guy has a lot of health, so I wonder if he has a lot of... Uh, a lot of um, damage as well. I'm gonna do it, just in case. Monsters with high protection. Some monsters have high protection, which absorbs attack damage. Dots, Blight and Bleed, ignore protection, and are effective means to take down these highly armored opponents. Ah, okay. Yeah, he has 33% protection, this guy. The other ones don't. He's also really slow. <laughs> Alright, cool. Good to know. In that case, let's see. I guess just a stab. Uh, buff target. Maybe I should just keep buffing from here, really. Protection go up. Was guard by ally. I don't know. So if they guard, will they move back though? I wonder. I don't want them to move back. I guess I also could try to heal a bit. Hmm. I'm just gonna do damage. Nice. And we're gonna do this one was done, right? It's probably a good idea. What's your resist? 25 only. So 100 percent chance to stun if I hit. Yeah, let's do that. A little debuff, but, you know. I wonder if there's a thing that gets rid of your debuffs like this. Okay. Uh, maybe heal her? Maybe target someone. I don't 
don't know. How much damage will this do? Five to eight. Might be able to take him out if I'm lucky. As long as I hit, right? Yeah. The formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. One less person to worry about. Okay, that would still hit both of them, which is good. Although I still want to get this buff up. Maybe next turn I'll mark this guy at the back with him and then I'll do this one. This is also... Yeah, it reduces the bleed resist, but I don't have anything that causes bleed. Uh, no, I don't think I'll... I think I'll do this. It's just more damage right now. The other one isn't really that strong. Should I get him down first? Let's do this one. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That was good. I wonder what this guy does. I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, sorry, two, two, three. I think I'm going to just heal a bit. Oh, this is going all. No, just one. Why not? Spear fishing. Are you gonna pull her forward? No, good. Okay, he has a stun resist right now, so that won't help much. Oh, she has bleed. Never mind, I forgot about that. This one is a stronger bleed, but it debuffs her as well. And she's already debuffed, so... I don't know if that's a good idea. But then again, she doesn't do much damage right now. Because of that. Hmm... The bleed is pretty strong, actually. 60% chance, though. One of them had the lower bleed resist debuff, right? And if this fails, then I'll just do less damage. I don't know, I don't know. This one says, though, 15% more damage, but when I hover over here, it doesn't show how much damage it would do. Oh, because I can't detect it. <laughs> that would explain it. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I'll just attack. It's it's not a lot of damage, but you know, it's bad enough, I think. I guess. Get that down a bit. So what do you do? Barnacle, protection. Okay. So you're like a protective dude. Got it. Uh, I got my buff. I guess I could stack it, but. Maybe just a pickaxe to the face. Should I get rid of this dude at the back? Oh, all right, he's gonna protect it, right? I see, I see. That's how that works. Unnerved. Ouch. Unbalanced. That hurt. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh. I'm gonna try this. I think. I know, but I should probably do it on someone who has a lot of health, like her, right? Because she's gonna be the one that takes the damage then. Or should I heal? Nah. I'm gonna try this out. I wanna see how this is gonna work then. Okay, and you still have your debuff. I guess I could try to stun him again. But I mean, my debuff, my damage would just go completely down. That's a, that's a disadvantage of this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go for damage, I think. Uh, it's, it's not much. It really isn't much. Is he? Yeah, he's there all Eldritch, right? This one marks him and reduces his dodge, but I really should heal right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Bleed. Ooh, that's a strong bleed, too. Uh, no, don't attack him or her or whatever. 
Yeah, this is the bleed resist down. Maybe I should do this. Uh, how much damage would this be? Two to five only. I'm gonna do this one, I think. Do you have a banish? No, I used it up. So now I could do the bleed. Oh no, it only goes to the front, right? Is this worth it doing this bleed on him? It's only two. Well, I mean, it's two points per round, so. I guess it's better than nothing. Ah, crap. Heal. Nice. Better. Not great, but better. <laughs> so little damage. Uh, it's funny. Maybe I just get, oh, this gives buff to everyone. Oh Jesus! Okay. It's, I'm surprised it never says that on the skill itself. Okay, I need to take these out. Ah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. He only has, what, one damage left. So I might as well just get rid of him. With... This one, may, uh, I mean... Is there anything I could take out? I guess that's my strongest. No, actually I should heal. Never mind. I should heal with her. Ah, uh, she already... Oh, four points, but... Oh god, that's so much bleed. Okay. Then maybe I shouldn't use this on her. Well, but she might die otherwise. That's 12 points of damage right there. Oh boy. That's a lot of damage. I don't have anything that can heal bleed right now, I don't think. Oh, please resist. Yes. Good. <laughs> That's so much damage. Um, can I take out one of these guys? Press Thank you. Advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh man, I don't. Yeah, I don't have. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. I didn't think about that. Ah, come on. Well, I oh, know he doesn't have bleed anymore. You can heal your own bleed, but I also could just take you out right now. It's only one round. It's only one damage. I better just take him out quickly. <laughs> okay then, that was a bit more These tricky creatures and be felled. They pretty bad. Be That's eight damage. Jeez. Six damage here. Oh man. Yeah, not good. I may have. To, well, didn't I get? Yeah, I got some extra food. I want to eat some. What is this? Giant oyster. Who knows what value hides? Damn it. Blast it all. Okay. Well then, maybe it was a bad idea to come to this room. <laughs> I'll take it back. It's a small dungeon, but a dangerous dungeon. Alright, I'll go heal these guys up a bit. Oh man. Oh, the tor torch burns way slower when you go back through dungeon uh, hallways here for export. I see. I think someone said that actually. Good to know. Okay, so there's a bell room here. That one is not, I guess. And that might be one. This is a really short, short uh, hallway. Nice. Yeah, we're getting a lot of crests. Quickly turn As on the, the torch. Gains purchase, oh boy. Oh lifted. boy. And oh boy. Made clear. I feel like this could be bad. And this guy again. He's the one that causes that extreme bleed. Uh, okay, definitely should start off with heals, I think. We're all pretty much equal healing wise right now, so. Uh, I guess I'll just. She's missing 11 health. Uh, 9. I think I'll just heal myself. First, not great, but it works. Okay, 
Let's think about this a bit better. So these guys... Hmm. I think I'm just gonna buff myself first. And take out people as quickly as possible. If I'm super lucky... Yes, I can take them out in one shot. Wow. I needed that right now. Uh, you don't you really don't do a lot of damage like one damage to this oh 75% protection that would explain why um, so I'm just gonna assist with some well no let's actually do the dodge buff first and I guess we could stack this right brilliant confluence of skill and purpose uh, I guess you could and then just dodge all the things okay before I debuff myself again, I should probably just... Well, I could stun the mouse as well. Then I don't do damage again. Four to eight. Ugh. I should be guaranteed stunned if I hit. Let's do it. Nice. Maybe I'll just keep buffing with her then. Keep that dodge up. Wait, why is it your turn again? Huh. Right? Yeah, it lets me do it again. So we should get six debuffs. Uh, six. For three rounds. It even resets the round. Oh, jeez, that's good. Okay, you have your buff too of accuracy. Um. No, I'm just gonna go for... Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for raw damage. I said this one was better, right? Wasn't it? 5 to 11. Because it has higher crit chance. Let's do it. Oh, my hamster's awake. Just making noise. Mmm... Try to get rid of him. Or should I heal? I should probably heal. Oh wow, nice. Is a rarity in That's the perfect. Of battle. Yeah, and I'm gonna go... I mean, I could keep them stunned. I get... No, they have high, high stun resist. The snake hasn't done anything yet, has she? That kind of worries me. I'm gonna try to... Oh, maybe I should cause the bleed. Oh, he has high bleed resist, right? Let's do this. Okay, good. Gone. The less enemies to worry about, the better, I guess. I don't know what that is. Okay, you got her. It's... She is, like, protected like crazy. I don't know what this thing is gonna do. Okay, keep up the healing, I think. Yes. And resist. All oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And I guess we just want to get rid of some of these. Well, he's going to protect anyway. So I might as well just do this attack. Uh, buff myself. Okay, you just keep doing your dodge. Does this have a limit? Nine dodge now. Crazy. Oh, no. Oh, one went down. One stack of this buff went down just now. I see. That's how that works. So technically, we don't have one buff. We actually have two buffs right now. One of two rounds, one of one round. Is there like a way to show this? No, I guess not. Hmm. Interesting. You still got it. Could... Uh, what's your bleed resist? 60 still. you have 40. I'm gonna try it, because her one of these go goes away soon. Oh, right, it hits him. Oh, but it's bleed. I need to remember that, that it's actually the protection thing. Don't hit me. Oh, what does this do? 20 dodge. Wow. That's a lot of... That's a lot of dodge gone. 
Well, again, I would just attack him. Keep buffing myself, I guess, as well. Heal myself. Sedated. And just keep waiting on him. Could I be lucky and take him out? Nope. Buff time. Yeah, it just stays at six. You can't keep it high, I guess. Right now. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, guys. Okay, so he's gonna be dead. No matter what. And the protection's gone, so I should wail on this stupid snake, whatever. Uh, maggot. It's not a maggot. What's it called a maggot? Hmm. Could target this as well, but just so the other guy can do more. Nah, let's just do this. Oh, well nice, struck. nice, nice. Yeah, just go wail on it. There we go. We won. Maybe one more heal? No. Well. No, he was. He already did stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Fine. Great there you is go. The weapon that cuts on its own. Well, we kind of got back from it and we got a bandage, but. I'll save it. Yeah, I'll save it just in case. Okay, let's keep going. It's only two damage. I can heal that again. Yep, eat. Oh yeah, that too. I could probably eat, eat the rest of the food now, because it's not gonna... I don't think there's gonna be enough. Uh, this is trap, right? 60, 70, oh, 100. Hello. Good job. We have three torches left. Yeah, it's only that room and then the next one, so... Can you eat some food? That's gonna be the last battle room. So might as well feed some of these. There you go. We have one bleed resist. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Now this was good last time, but I'm kind of worried that it won't be good this time. And someone else should probably touch it then. Oh no, it was good. Same buff. Interesting. Maybe it is always good, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Ooh, a battle on the way. Okay. Right. That could happen. But I forgot about that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we want? Uh, I could just go for damage again. Yeah, this attack is actually really good against these Eldritch guys. Gotta say. Um, yeah, just... Just on you. Yes, there's already lots of damage. Gone. Stress wave sounds terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Okay. Good to know. Uh, yeah, I'll just try to get rid of the stupid maggot as quickly as possible, I guess. Nice. Uh, increase our... Dodge. They miss. A, they uh, dodge a lot, really. I wonder if this buff is really that good or something. Or maybe I'm just super lucky right now. Uh, maybe lucky and take him out. Let's try. Nah, <laughs> the worst. The worst damage. It's fine. It happens. Your Eldritch too. It's only one to two damage, so I think it's probably better to attack this guy. Nice. Don't do that. He even attacks two of them. It's worse than the other guy in the ruins. She's almost at her stress thing. Stress limit. Damn it. Okay. Gone. Good. Doesn't leave behind a corpse. Good. Uh, yeah, I guess I just... Uh, I guess I could heal. One dodged. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> this is not good. It's really not good. Uh, yeah, let's do this. What the hell? Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, I think she does really 
bring more of these things in as well. It just seems like we're getting a ton of them right now. That's super cool. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Well, here we go, last battle, and we don't have anything to reduce the stress, right? Oh, we have medical herbs too. Alright, that's bad. She's probably gonna freak out. There's no way she's not gonna freak out, and there's a stress dude as well. Two. Okay. Ouch. That's not a good buff. I mean, it is a good buff. It's not a good buff for us. Uh, that's terrible. Okay. You're not Eldritch, but you're Eldritch, and I can't attack you at the back. Um. Probably lower this. I don't know how much damage he actually does. I don't think if he. I don't know if he ever hit me. Ooh, I need to think here. I need to think. Four to seven is quite. I mean, I could be re twenty percent almost. Oh, no, nineteen percent uh, crit chance is high, but twenty percent chance to fail. Ah. Oh, nice. The ground quakes. Got my curb, my hamster. She's going crazy in a wheel. Sorry if there's gonna be noise in the video. Uh. <sighs> No, let's go with... Let's try to take out things quickly again. Need to get rid of this dude, especially. And just get all our dodge up. Inspiration okay. And improvement. Wow. And they move forward because it was a crit. Good job. And a little bit stressed down. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Uh, and he's protecting him. What a jerk. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't like this either. I'm with you there. Okay, so that's a problem for uh, some of these people, probably. So if I attack him, again, he's just gonna protect him. So, hmm. I guess I might just as well... Do the pickaxe to his face. Oh, on her, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's attack her. 27. Okay. Uh, we want to swap places, probably. So you can't do too much. Well, no, you can't do most except for this. I'm going to swatch, swap places, though. Because then I can do this crazy attack here, at least, which does quite a bit of damage to Eldritch. Uh, yeah, just do that, I guess. It's not a lot. <laughs> Could have been more. Stress. No, not stress. Oh, you dodged, right. Okay. Just go. Wow, but what's up with these low numbers right now? Come on, guys. No, don't, don't stress wave. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, he's still protected. Very good. He's, she's gone. Okay. Eldritch stab. Damn it. Yeah, he still has his dodge up, doesn't he? Oh, he doesn't. He only damage up. Speaking of dodge, though, I guess I'll just bring up my dodge, because damage-wise I won't do much anyway. And keep hitting. Come on. It's only 3 to 5. Why is it so low? Oh, because he has the protection up. Yeah. Well, I could do the bleed. I don't know. Only on the one at the back. Still, might actually be better. Oh, but he's gonna protect him. So is he gonna get the bleed then? Oh, yeah. Is this gonna work? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, but oh, no, he did get it. He didn't resist. Five more damage. Oh, hells. Interesting. Okay. So we... <laughs> Kind of like, it was to my advantage. Oh, don't heal. Oh, it's a buff, okay. The blood quickens. I don't know what that means. But hopefully, he's gone. 
And hopefully, he's gone. Uh, I can't a carry. Oh, a pottery. Okay. But a victory nonetheless. 20 gold, 15 gold, 20 gold, 5 gold. Just use it. The light, Whatever. <laughs> the promise of safety. There's still a chest. Uh, it's unlocked already. Okay. I don't know if I need to use it. I'm gonna. Is this gonna hurt if I try it anyway? Because there might still be a secret in there, but I don't think there's a secret in this one. No. Eh. Yeah, let's try. No? Okay. Just open it then, I guess. Wealth what? beyond measure. Oh, it's only for that guy. Word to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Cool. Uh, let's just drop. What was that? 15? This one? Anything else is less? No. Cool. Uh, let's get off here. <laughs> the pungent odor abates. The thing got this thing back for a time. Quite a bit of money there. But this is what I'm really after right now. I want a lot of these things. So this is nice to see. 16 crests. Very nice. Okay, resolving time. Photomania, minus 20% stress if tortured above 75, sweet. And intense carrying for alcohol, so gambling stuff. Oh, not gambling, but like the tavern probably. Chance to turn any miss into a hit, super cool. But she doesn't really hit much, I guess, but you know, still good. All right, that was that then. Um, he got rid of his spasm, it's already done. Very nice, so I can put him into a treatment for stress. Actually, some of these, especially her, I have to go. Uh, activities not slightly less effective, still going on, right? And that was it. No one lost money. Yeah, you didn't gamble away my money. Very nice. <laughs> so that's good. Awesome. And then we can unequip all the trinkets again, just in case. Cool. Well, there's that. Let's just have a quick look in here. Three crusaders. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> we don't need those. Uh, but yeah, I guess that will be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I think next time maybe we go to one of the other areas as well because I want to check them out um, and see what's going on there. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.